In this video, I'm going to show you the Mocha tracking feature in Filmora. First up, make sure you're using the latest version of Filmora or at least version 14.7.2. Go to the Effects tab and scroll down, look for Boris FX, click on it, and download the Mocha Filmora plugin. Once the Mocha Filmora is downloaded and installed, restart Filmora for the plugin to take effect. Now let's drag and drop your video material to the timeline and have a look. We're going to add graffiti here on this wall surface. Select the video clip and go to the Effects tab again and look for Mocha Filmora under the Boris FX section, then drag and drop the effect to the clip. Head over to the Effects tab and click on Launch Mocha UI. A new window will be pop out with more advanced features. It might look complicated, but I'll walk you through the process. First, make sure the interface is set to classic, and then move the playhead to locate the flat surface. Click on this X-spline icon and start drawing the tracking area on the video. Next, add a planar surface to the video. We're going to align it with the wall edges. Head over to the bottom left and we're going to check perspective and then start tracking backwards. When the tracking is complete, we'll continue to track forward from the point we start just now. Once the overall tracking is complete, we're going to add the image to the wall. Go to the Insert tab on the bottom left and insert our desired material. We'll see the image is attached to the area we just tracked. Let's move the playhead to a front-facing frame to have a precise adjustment. Here we're seeing the image is stretched horizontally and we're going to adjust it. We can simply adjust the image by going to the Transform option under the Insert tab on the bottom left and adjusting the scale and the Y-axis scale to remove the image stretch. To make the graffiti more natural, go to the Comp option and change the blending mode to Multiply, then adjust the opacity to make the image blend into the wall more naturally. Once everything is done, let's save the project and close the Mocha Filmora window. Here we won't see graffiti on the preview window and we need to turn on the render here to take effect. Now let's have a look on the result 